Maybe they're just building a new schoolhouse. Uh, sure. And those are the swings for the playground. <clears throat> well, I'm not getting hanged on an empty stomach. Jailer! Hey, Jailer! What do you three pests want? We're starved. We want our last meal. Oh, well, of course, Your Majesties. Let's see your money. Money? We have to pay for our food? All prisoners pay for their grub. That's the law. So be it, my good man. Bring us the best meal money can buy. We'll gladly pay. <laughs> oh, yeah? With what? With this. Huh? Where did that come from? Where we live? Everyone carries money in their head. Hey, show me how you did that. Well, I guess I could, but you'd have to come in here. Uh -huh, all right. But don't try anything. Okay, now just do what I do. When do we get the money? I, I don't feel no coin. Dig deeper, I can hear them. It ain't working. Try it with both ears. That's it. What? I said... Uh, never mind. Uh, come back here! Thanks for lunch! This way. Guys, wait up! Forget the hat. Come on. Hey, what's this? It looks like that island we were on. This must be a map to Blackbeard's treasure. All right. We found a real treasure map. Yeah, well, if we don't get out of here, we're going to be too dead to use it. Sam's right. Anyway, we have to find the book. And how are we going to do that? We don't even know where to look. Besides, if we can't get home right away, we're going to need money to get around, right? Well, here's a pile of it, and it's just a mile offshore. He's got a point. Let's go. Are you sure this is right? I thought he buried it over there. It's right according to the map. Maybe he's got more than one treasure on this island. Let's hope this one doesn't have any bodies. We hit something. Bingo! You can stop right there, lads. <gasps> Blackbeard! So, he was hoping to steal me treasure. And after all I done for you. Excuse me? You mean nearly getting us drowned, shot at, exploded, and hanged? Well, if you're gonna get touchy about every little thing. It's too bad, really. You lads have spirit, but business is business. Go ahead, open it. Might as well get a look at a real pirate's treasure. Since it's the last thing you'll ever see. Wow! Now say your prayers, boys. Wait, uh, Mr. Blackbeard, sir? As long as we're about to, you know, die, do you think we could actually touch some of the treasure? Uh, make it quick. Oh, man! The, the book! Handsome piece of goods, ain't it? Got it off a Spanish scout. In fact, it was right before I met you, lads. Pity you won't have time to read it. Now, prepare to meet your maker. Guys, we're home! Awesome! Oh, yeah! Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I had that treasure right in my hands. What good is fighting pirates if you can't even keep the money? I guess that book really is some kind of time machine. Yeah, well, I say we put it somewhere safe and never open it again. Better clean that up, guys. Interesting book, huh? And now, the Time Warp Trio presents Real Moments from Real History. Here's today's Daily Warper. Blackbeard's flag. Hey, 
Did you know that not all pirates flew the skull and crossbones? Most of them had their own flag. Blackbeard's flag was pretty weird. It had a devil skeleton holding an hourglass and an arrow pointing at a bleeding heart. But the flag you really didn't want to see was red. It pretty much meant you were a goner. In the end, though, it was Blackbeard who was the goner. He was only able to stay straight for about six months. He went back to being a pirate, and in November 1718, he was captured and beheaded. His body was thrown overboard. No! But some people swear that it swam around the ship a few times before sinking. Arr. If you want to know more strange stuff about Blackbeard, just check out the Time Warp Trio website. Thank you.